Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day today. So we are back with another sewing video today and I am very excited and per the usual kind of nervous with this one because there are several different things I am doing with this particular sewing project and I'm pushing myself a little bit. So. With that being said, let me show you what we're going to make. So the dress we are going to make is McCall's 7974, and I'm going to make this view B with these long sleeves, this like corset detailing, and then it also has pockets and it is a button front dress. So Lauren Johnson did make this dress, but to challenge myself, I am choosing to not watch her video and try to actually learn how to properly read a sewing pattern. If you have been following me for any amount of time, I have been beginning to learn how to sew. I've only been sewing for the past year and a half, maybe, maybe two years, um, and I'm definitely a novice. But how I learned was watching videos and I would just follow people's tutorials and I wouldn't even look at the pattern guide and the instructions. So I told myself for this one, I need to learn how to properly read a pattern. And so we are doing that with this one. Not only that, but this one also has pockets, which I have never done. It also has a fitted waist, which I have never done. And it has buttons, which I have attempted once and it failed miserably. So all of those things are working in this video today. So I did already cut out the fabric. I had had it filmed, but my camera died and I didn't have enough to show you guys. But the fabric that we are using is actually the leftover of this fabric from my circle skirt that I made a couple weeks ago. And I did not think I was actually going to have enough to make this. And my original plan was just to cut out the bodice and then purchase whatever I needed to for the remaining fabric to make the skirt but I ended up having enough to make this entire dress. So I'm pretty excited about that. But I actually already did go ahead and sew the side seams for the skirt. It's very, very simple. I was going to film that this morning, but then my daughter ended up waking up from her nap early and I just wasn't able to film. So I did get that done, just the basic straight side seams. And the only thing I did different was I just trimmed off some of the excess of the seam allowance and finished the edges in there. So um, now I am going to add the pockets, which I am pretty excited about. And I, I don't know, I am hoping that this turns out well. I know for a fact that the skirt will fit me. I'm just a little hesitant with the bodice, but all that being said, let's hop into this dress. I am hoping to wear this for Thanksgiving this year. I kind of wanted to make myself a Thanksgiving dress and I think this would be darling to wear. I just love this fabric so much and I will link this fabric below. This particular brand doesn't sell it anymore but you can find it on like Etsy. Um, it's a Jane Austen collection fabric. So I mean, it's a match made in heaven for me. So anyway, I'm just procrastinating at this point because I need to finish off the raw edges of all of the pockets and that just does not sound very fun but i'm going to get some autumnal music going and see how much i can get done this afternoon Something that will make my day Cause these memories of her won't go away They're haunting me so I can't sleep she was Can you tell I'm still not the best at uh, cutting my fabric very evenly? <laughs> oh goodness. Sewing is very humbling. That's for sure. Now my bed feels just like a cobblestone oh, oh. Alright, here it is so far. We have this skirt 
and we have my first pockets. Ah, I'm pretty excited. <laughs> but I do have a confession. Thankfully, this pattern is busy enough. I don't think you'll be able to notice, but I do have one panel that I cut the wrong direction. It's this one, but I feel like it's so busy. I don't think you can tell. I did not want to buy all new fabric just to have that go the correct way. So I think we'll be okay. But you know, that's just the beauty of homemade clothes. They're a little quirky and we still love them. So I'm just going to sew my gathering stitches and then I think the skirt will be done. Um, and then we can start moving on to the bodice, which I am pretty intimidated by. Um, but we're just taking it one step at a time. So far, reading the directions has been going fairly okay. I just really need to pay attention when I'm reading them. I have been rereading them like eight or nine times just to make sure I understand what is going on. But it's not as hard as I thought it was going to be. It just takes a little bit more focus as opposed to just watching someone do it. So we'll get finishing on this skirt. It's kind of fun to start with the skirt. I typically start with the bodice because that takes the longest. Um, but it's kind of nice to do the skirt because it's very satisfying to already have almost completely done. So yeah, let's do that. Add the gathering stitches, do the hem. I think I might do the hem now instead of waiting until the entire dress is done. Um, just because I hate messing with the whole dress when I'm trying to hem it. So we'll just do that now. And I was going to play some music, but I forgot to. So I think I might play some music, play my autumn playlist. I have been loving the song Autumn Leaves by Nat King Cole. I cannot get it out of my head. So I think we'll listen to that. And then we will just do kind of the brainless sewing, which is kind of nice. Was I supposed to know that she'd leave? Was I the knife to think that she'd be the one? Whoa. Why did she go? I met her back in 2005. It was her crooked little smile that caught my eye. So this skirt is pretty much done for what I can finish for it for now. Um, I was going to hem this, but I forgot I need to do some things to the front of this. So I just zigzag stitched it and then did some of the gathers, which I'll need to adjust once I finish the bodice. So I was just looking at the instructions for the bodice and I forgot I need to get fusible interfacing um, from the fabric store, but it looks like I am able to start just a couple steps so i may just do those this afternoon and then i will have to wait because the rest of the pieces need the fusible interfacing so we're really getting there you guys i'm really pleased with the skirt and now we'll just see we'll be able to know pretty soon if the bodice is going to fit me so i think we'll work on that and then we will be done for today
to technically day three of working on this dress, but it will be day two for you guys because yesterday I was going to start filming and I actually filmed a tiny bit, but I ended up just being really unmotivated and it was just not my day yesterday. There was just a lot of things that happened that just made it kind of a stressful day. So I ended up stopping what I was doing for sewing and watched some episodes of Doctor Who because my best friend just introduced me to that show a couple weeks ago and I am completely hooked. Absolutely love it. I am on season three right now. So David Tennant is Doctor Who and absolutely love it. Um, but I will show you guys kind of what I worked on yesterday and I worked on it a little bit this afternoon. So it is Saturday today. So Rose is in bed, Caleb is resting downstairs, and so I thought I would work on this a little bit more. So one of the things I was a little bit frustrated with yesterday is I really did not think this was going to fit me, but after working on the bodice a little bit more today, I think it may fit. So let me show you guys what I have done so far. So I have this much of the bodice done. So I have the two front panels that will make the neckline. I have one of the bodice front like waist sections, if you will. And then I have the lining inside. And then I have obviously the back put together. So what I'm wanting to do tonight is add the other front panels with the facing part of it as well. I wanna get that done and then attach the sleeves. That's kind of my goal for tonight. So the only things I am a little bit concerned about with the fit is the sleeves. They felt a touch tight, um, but that was also before I had kind of gotten a lot of the bodice together. So we will see, I'm trying to remain hopeful. I was so discouraged with this yesterday because I really thought it was just kind of a waste of time, but after putting it on today, I think it will fit. Let's work on this this evening. And as you could see, I have my pajamas on. I have these thrifted rose pink striped pajama pant and my cozy sweater. And I made myself some chamomile tea in this adorable fall mug. I bought this from a local store by us and I think it's so, so cute. So I'm gonna call it a night, and this is what I got done so far. I set the sleeves in, I need to finish off the cuffs tomorrow. So I did do a couple things different. I did make the seam allowance a little bit smaller on the sleeves, and I took away a little bit of fabric down here to loosen it up in the shoulders just a bit, which seemed to help. This is definitely a more form-fitting dress than what I'm used to making, but I think it actually fits me pretty well so what i'll need to do then is finish off the cuffs i need to finish off some of my seams on the inside and then what i'm actually going to do and this is what lauren johnson did in her video is make loops and add them to the buttons um it'll be a little bit too tight if i add actual buttons so i need to pick up some buttons tomorrow and hopefully we'll get this done pretty soon but yeah it's getting pretty late we have church in the morning so we're gonna say goodbye to this for tonight. Actually looking like 
a dress and I tried it on and it fits me perfectly and I'm so, so pleased. So the only other things I need to do is finish off some of these seams on the inside, hem it, and then add the buttons. But oh my goodness, you guys, I'm so excited to have this for my fall dress. I love this pattern so, so much. So yeah, but for now, we are going to actually head out. So I will talk to you guys here in a little while, maybe today, if not today, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. So it has been quite a few days since I filmed last. I don't even know what day this would technically be for the project of my dress, but I will show you where we are at. Like I said, I don't remember what I told you guys, so I'll just recap in case I didn't show you. But the dress is definitely very close to getting done. So I ended up adding some buttonhole loops. Let's see if I can show you guys, there they are. Um, so I did that all down the dress. I did 15 of them um, and I just made them by cutting the fabric on the bias and almost making like a bias tape loop, if you will. And then I, um, let's see if you guys can see. And then I just stitched them on. So partly why I haven't worked on this in a while is just because I've been busy. But the other part is because I really struggled to know what to do for the buttons. So I originally had bought these tiny little white buttons and they were way too small. So I went back and bought these more like opaque white buttons, but they were a little bit bigger. Well, I sewed one on the dress and I just didn't like the contrast of the white on this brown fabric. So what I ended up doing after searching and searching, I searched several stores, couldn't find any that I liked. I found a little make your own fabric button kit from Joann's. So that is what we did. We are doing little fabric covered buttons. So I have 15 of these little guys to put on this dress. So I'm thinking while we do that, I'm going to finish drinking my lukewarm Earl Grey tea that I made. I love this little teacup, look at this, so cute. Um, I'm going to finish drinking this and then I think watch an episode of Doctor Who. I'm a touch nervous because Buttons and me are not very good friends, but we're going to try it. So let's get to doing that and then we'll be able to show you guys the dress. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm -hmm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees will whisper the word. Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope. So the dress is done, as you can see, and I am loving it so much. I love this pattern. I love this fabric. And I'm just so glad that I was able to make a dress out of all of the spare fabric. So overall, I feel like this pattern was pretty easy to follow. I misread a couple things and so I may have messed up on a couple areas, but I would say love this pattern. We'll definitely make again and I'm actually planning on making a Christmas dress out of this pattern. The few things that I did change was I did add the button loops instead of doing the buttonholes as you saw and I actually did add a hook and eye here at the top to kind of help keep the top fitted a little bit better. Um, the top was just a little bit weird in the fitting and so that just helped make it all lay nice and smooth. But overall, the pockets turned out great. The button front definitely 
gave me some problems, but it's not because of the pattern. It was because there was a couple things I messed up with the dress that made putting on the buttons difficult. I really, really love it. Love the fit, love the pattern. 10 out of 10 would recommend, but I am very cold. <laughs> I can't believe my nose is not completely red yet because it's pretty chilly out. So I think we're going to end the video here. If you guys did enjoy this video, please let me know in a comment down below. I love reading them. Thank you guys so much for spending your time on my channel today, and I will see you for some more Christmas content in my next video. Mwah.